So here we are in Moorfields Eye Hospital in Old Street for a procedure called collagen cross-linking with PRK, which is photorefractive keratectomy. Um, it should take about half an hour uh, and we'll do lots of little videos like this to keep you updated with the recovery um, and the comforts and discomforts of the procedure. So the eye that's having the procedure done is this one, my right eye that I'm closing now. Um, I imagine there won't be too much change in the way that it looks, but um, as we put the videos up, you'll be able to see for yourself. So just come out of the theatre, looking pretty, pretty red there. It doesn't feel too bad. It feels fine. It's a bit blurry, um, but feels pretty comfortable. So nothing too much to worry about at the moment. Right, we've just got into an Uber back to Clapham where we parked the car. Um, it's been about 20 minutes now since I had the procedure. Um, it's feeling not too bad, it's a bit stingy. It's a little bit like if you get shampoo in your eye. Um, I think I've just taken, what was it that I took? 50 milligrams of um, Voltarol. 50 milligrams of Voltarol. Um, and we're putting these um, hydration drops in as and when I need them. At the moment, it's about every five to ten minutes. Less than that, actually, more like two, three minutes, maybe. Uh, well, of late, it's been about five to ten minutes, and that just keeps your eyes just feeling a little, it keeps you feeling kind of lubricated and, well, not gritty, essentially. Um, but at the moment, it's not feeling too bad. Um, just, yeah, as I say, a bit blurry and a little bit stingy, but nothing too terrible. One little piece of advice that we have discovered having been through this process is that after you leave the hospital you're going to you're going to be wanting to put these hydration drops in your eye pretty regularly um, and to do that you're going to need clean hands so um, definitely take some hand sanitizer with you they, they provide it in the hospital but it's you know it's not take away hand sanitizer it's just the ones that you find in the hospital so um, yeah, I would say be prepared and take a little pot of hand sanitizer so you can put the stuff in your eye yourself without risking infection. And take a friend. And take a friend. <laughs> friend. <laughs> We're now an hour in to the recovery. It's starting to get a little bit sore now. Um, the anaesthetic they put on during the procedure has worn off a little bit, but um, in amongst the goodie bag of pills that they gave, uh, well pills and eye drops that they gave at the hospital, there is some stuff called Proxy which is um, anaesthetic. So um, we're going to put a drop of that in now for the rest of the journey home um, and hopefully that will numb my eye enough so that it's not hurting anymore but it's definitely starting to sting a little bit now. So we finally made it back home, it's about uh, an hour and a half, two hours since the uh, since the procedure. Um, I have to say the journey back was pretty uncomfortable. Um, these are my new spectacles here that I have to wear to sleep in so you don't rub your eye. But yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, the pain was about a 7 on the way back. And the only the only thing that gives relief really is the anaesthetic drops. Uh, but they only really work if you're lying down, so... Um, doing them in a car, sitting up right, doesn't, they just drip straight out of your eye. Um, but I think it's going to be a pretty painful evening. Uh, hopefully I'll get better tomorrow. Okay, what time uh, is it? It's now quarter to nine. Quarter to nine. The procedure was at half past three. Half past four. Half past four. came out at half past four. Half past four. Pain level is pretty high. It's seven. About seven and a half. Um, the anaesthetic drops don't seem to work. Really, they can't get under the contact lens bandage. So, um, really, the only thing that's helped so far is one drop of anaesthetic that seems to manage to get under, and this ice pack seems to be helping as well. But other than that, it's pretty uncomfortable. Done. Yeah. So we just about made it through the night. It was <clears throat> one of the most uncomfortable nights of my entire life. Um, we ended up having to take the anaesthetic um, hourly um, out of pure necessity. Um, and we were told that we shouldn't be taking it more than um, once an hour. So we had to 
get up to the hour by using ice packs. Um, I didn't get a wink of sleep. Um, ended up um, getting the pain to subside by taking uh, two lots of 100 milligrams of tramadol, which eventually worked, but meant at about 8 o'clock this morning I felt violently ill, which is a side effect of that strong painkiller medicine. Um, I've just taken two uh, codeine. I'm still probably at a five, five and a half out of ten on the pain scale. I'm just trying to get some sleep now, but it's um, it's now twelve o'clock the uh, following day, and still in a reasonable amount of pain. Right, so it's quarter past six on day two, um, and for the first time, although it doesn't look like it, my eyes started to feel a bit better. Um, it's not so scratchy anymore. We've done all the medication. Um, I think we took some codeine this morning. Um, no more of the... No, you tell me you had an anaesthetic drop. Had an anaesthetic drop. No more of the really super strong morphine-based painkillers. So I don't feel sick anymore. But it's taken until about two hours ago for it to start feeling comfortable again. Um, but now hopefully we're over the worst. Good news. Right, quarter past four on day two of recovery. Um, so procedure was on Wednesday and it's now Friday. And my eye, although I can see very little out of it, is feeling much better. Um, we're taking the refresh drops as and when we need them about once an hour and it's not even feeling particularly scratchy at the moment we're just keeping painkillers up so paracetamol had a bit of codeine this morning but paracetamol every couple of hours and it's feeling much more comfortable um as you can see i'm a lot happier which is great so it's taken uh, taken a little while but not as long as i thought to get back to feeling comfortable again still quite blurry but um that will that will ease over time so the eye drop situation here we go here's our table um we've got a little chart here um that my mother and uh, sister very cleverly put together um this basically just records what we need um so we've got dexamethasone which is um i can't remember is that that's the antibiotics possibly um anyway whatever they are the proxies the um um, the anaesthetic so we've got all those but I mean it's a fairly sizable bag worth of stuff and these are all the drops that they send you home with um, and this is the military style table that uh, my family have been using to keep me from getting an infection um, and it goes on for about um, about three days um, having regular eye drops so it's three days with about um, some kind of drop every hour and then from then on it gets a lot easier so from day four onwards it's every couple of hours and then after day seven um, it's just one drop four times a day um, and I can't remember which drop it actually is but it's uh, the refresh stuff you just use as and when and then you carry on your antibiotic so it gets a lot easier after day four um, but uh, given the despair I was in on day one of the day of the procedure I'm very happy to now be feeling a lot better.